Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And a question that came today, it's a question I've been asked from time to time. We did talk about it in some videos sometimes. Uh, but um, what about file systems? How does it work? What actually uh, is the file system for Windows 10 and Windows 11? And um, so if we start from the start, of course, the file system is what is created on your hard drive when you format your drive on a PC. Uh, a long time ago, of course, we had FAT. Um, then we had FAT32, which was an update, had the possibility of longer file names and uh, drive size. But of course, file systems over time become obsolete because as drives get bigger and more space it is allowed, which means many more files can be actually on the drive. We get to a time where these limits are achieved and we have to move on to something else. So from there, we moved to NTFS, which became the standard. It's still in use today. Your Windows 11 machine, your Windows 10 machine, if you right-click the hard drive and go into properties, we'll say that it's NTFS. And so this is the file system used for the operating system today. Now, if you format an external drive, like an external uh, flash drive, you might notice that uh, there's something called uh, XFAT, E-X-F-A-T, that is a possibility. And you might even notice that some of the flash drives are actually formatted in that uh, format. And there's a reason why um, XFAT actually is faster on external drives like flash drives for because of the way that it handles file systems. But NTFS is faster as a operating system on your main drive with Windows. So each have their own um, you know, possibilities. Now, Windows can work with XFAT, and actually if you would use a Mac computer and want to share drives, uh, XFAT is better because it's readable and writable easily uh, from Mac computers to Windows PCs. The next operating system, uh, file system, sorry, that will eventually happen, and we think Windows 12 might take advantage of that, is ReFS, or the Resiliency um, File System. That is probably going to be the future. It has one major advantage. So, first of all, of course, new file system means new capabilities, more files, bigger hard drives. Once again, we're moving ahead. But the biggest and most positive um, resiliency file system feature is its capability of detecting corruption and fixing it. And actually, a lot of servers are already using it for that purpose. It actually makes the detection of, you know, maybe if your hard drive is failing, for example. Well, if it detects all of this, it can actually, by itself, move stuff around and change things around so that you don't lose any files. That's why it's called resiliency file system. So this is actually a very positive side of things. And by detecting the corruptions, it will fix them and everything remains functional, even if there were some problems. So these are tremendous capabilities that will definitely help in the future. And we talk about file corruption regularly when some problems arise. So eventually, ReFS will be uh, the operating system for Windows. And like we said, we think maybe Windows 12 could actually uh, introduce this to the standard PC eventually. So that's pretty much what the file systems are all about on um, Windows PCs. And yes, Windows 11 and Windows 10 share the same file system, NTFS. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.